Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Michael Brenholt, and in today's video, I want to show you a tech tip in Insight called the Section Width Profile. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, let's begin. When you open a part in Insight and it's too large for the envelope of the machine you've selected, in this case I have a part that is larger than my Fortis 450 extending past my envelope, instead of trying to find a larger system, if this is the machine I have to work with, there is an option to section this part and build both halves using a registration feature to realign the halves. How does that work? Coming up here, the first thing to do is to slice the part. Upon completion of slicing the part, it's going to warn me that this part is too big. Green check mark it. Then come up to the slice option and choose the section with profile. Upon doing that, it's going to pop me to a top view. It's going to open up the section with profile window to the right. Now again, I won't go into detail about all of the features in here. Don't forget to come over and choose Help with Current Operation if you want to learn more about anything that you open to the right-hand side of Insight. Now I'm going to leave these names the same, but then I will choose a drawing style I prefer to set parallel to Y-axis. It's just very easy to do this. And then I'm going to apply registration features. Unlike when you use the section at Z, the section with profile does not create a tongue and groove. It's a diamond pattern, and I will show that to you when we actually split the part. So, come over here and just state where do you want to section this piece. Pick a spot. Parallel to the Y-axis, I will choose that location and say OK. It's then going to ask me, do I want to confirm it? Yes, I do. Save before sectioning. Yes, please goes through and does those processes for me, and then sections this part. Upon checking this OK, if I go to an isometric view upon completion of saving it, and I then wheel mouse zoom in here, I can see the diamond shape pattern that is showing up with the amplitude and pattern distance that I had selected over here. And again, you can change this. This registration feature will then marry up to the other half of this part. Going back to an isometric view and then choosing the double arrows, I will go back to the modeler setup. I will then create a support structure, run a toolpath, and then save that part of the job. Upon completion of that, if I come back up to the file option in the upper left hand corner, the number one is the job I just finished. Number two is the other half. So by clicking on that, I can then turn around and bring in the other half of the L bracket. And again, if I wheel mouse in, I can show you the opposite side of that diamond pattern on this part. And believe it or not, this works really well. It's amazing how well this will section this part and marry this up, giving you an opportunity to not have to have a flat surface to flat surface gluing area. These registration features will give you a better bond when re-adhering this part. And again, upon completion, I will then run a support structure, create a toolpath, and then come up and file save as a job or just click on the save button. There you have it. That is sectioning a part that is too large for the envelope of your system using the Insight software allowing you the opportunity to do this in one program and not have to take this file out to another program to do the sectioning there. Okay, if you have any other questions, please reach out to us at GoEngineer.com, and thanks again for your time today. Bye.